Hey guys, it's Pete from MyJuryBench.com. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our Epix printer and our Elegoom printer, and we're going to see if they really are the same printer inside, and is the Epix X1 just an Elegoo with a metal housing? Let's take a look and let's check them out. Hey guys, if you find this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button. The more you hit the thumbs up button, the better my channel does. If you aren't a subscriber, hit the subscribe button now to get notifications. Uh, press the bell button and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video, no matter what it's about. Thanks. Okay, so let's grab our tools and dig in. Either one of these printers is pretty simple to open. On the Elegoo Mars, there are eight screws, four on each side, the left and right, and then four screws, two on each side of the top part of the printer. And what you need to do is grab the correct size Allen wrench, and you're going to loosen the four screws on the top and then remove the eight screws, four on each side, both for the front and back panels on the uh, printer and then each of the front and back panel can slide off towards the front and back respectfully. So make sure you loosen up those screws if you ever need to get in and then uh, you don't have to take the feet off here. You can see I'm taking the feet off but you can leave those on. Those screws are pretty long. The only time you'll ever have to take those off is if you're doing any work on the printer. Make sure that if you do take anything off you keep those screws nice and uh, tight together, keep them someplace where you won't lose them. They're pretty small and you can lose these things. Now that I've got the back off of the Elegoo Mars, I'm just going to grab open the uh, Epix printer. And this one's pretty simple. There's one little plate in the back and then there are four feet on the bottom. Just remove those four feet. You can see I'm loosening up two screws on the side. I didn't have to loosen those up for, uh, for this particular part of the video, but uh, just remove the four feet on the bottom of the Epix X1 as well as the uh, screws that go in them. Put them aside, keep them in a safe place just like you did with your Elegant Mars. You can see by doing that we can remove the bottom plate and expose the inside of the printer. There, I'm just putting back the uh, screw for the power supply for the uh, UV lamp. And here I'm just going to remove that back plate on the back of the Epix X1. Just four screws. Again, they're small screws. Just keep them aside someplace safe where you won't lose them. So what I want to show you is basically the main controller board. And on the main controller board, uh, we basically have the same controller board in both printers. You have your USB port here, which goes to the uh, connector for the USB here. Kind of just loops around this could be kind of removed and put anywhere else you want it because uh, having it in the back is kind of awkward and i had considered a couple times of uh, taking off the front panel and maybe putting it up front that way i could just stick the usb uh, plug adapter into the front we do have the network cable here but of course the firmware doesn't support that we have our arm chip there which is for the processing uh, with the sheet 2 box slicer firmware and our connectors for all our bits and pieces. So I'm going to take off the front cover and we'll take a look at that one. Now let's take a quick gander at the uh, the lamp itself and I'm going to twist this around so that we can get some better light on it. Here's our lamp and our heat fan, and you can see that the fan itself, uh, the fan itself has the aluminum fins, the fan is underneath, and the LED UV lamp is right there, and that is an Elegoo branded part right in there. Then we have in the back our power connectors. So that's the inside of our Elegoo Mars. And that's what it looks like. There's the back side of the controller board. And if we look at the back side, you can see where you have your LED panel connector right here. Uh, mine is hooked up to an adapter, brings it up to the flat panel surface. And that is under the heat sink there, or the lamp housing. We have the lamp housing itself right here. And that is the extent of the inside of our Elegoo Mars. 
So let's take a look and see now. Next, we're going to open up the EPAX and we're going to do a comparison. Okay, so now that I've got the four, the four screws from the corners, we've got uh, the feet screws that hold the bottom plate on. You just take those off. I did remove my opening top because I didn't want to do any damage to it. But uh, I do want to show you that there are many differences to this printer that most people say is exactly the same. The similarities are this. We have the exact same controller board. We are using the she 2 box slicer controller firmware and that uses the same motherboard. It's identical. Um, there is a little bit different firmware version on this than there is on the Elegoo Mars. However, we take a look at our heat sink for the lamp. The heat sink for the lamp is significantly wider. It has better heating or cooling fins. Uh, it, it is a little bit deeper. We have a similar mounted uh, shroud for the LED, the UV lamp and we can see that in there. Now I'm not saying that this is not the same lamp that's in this but we do have a much more powerful driver so the, the supply for the UV lamp is right here and that power supply is significantly higher in power than is the power supply that's on the Elegoo Mars which is relying solely on the external power supply. So while they may seem similar to you they are completely different in design and functionality uh, but if for practical purposes the slicer is exactly the same the print dimensions are very similar this does print at a little bit better resolution and the firmware allows it to print slightly faster so I want you to keep that in mind that it is a little bit different than than the other model we also do have a different driver motor um, while it is very similar um, there are some slight differences so yes I believe that this printer is a significant improvement than the Elegoo Mars in quality because we have uh, several factors a better power supply which you can see here we have the cooling fins which are at least two and a half times uh, deeper than the cooling fins on the Elegoo Mars so that'll keep the UV lamp cooler by keeping the UV lamp cooler the Epix is actually keeping the UV lamp from degrading quicker so your your lamp will last longer other than that it is very similar we also have the metal housing and that metal housing itself is uh, a complete improvement over both the uh, any cubic photon the photon s as well as the elegoo mars again we don't know what uh, the new version of the elegoo is going to be but again we're only using the same motherboard and uh, processing power other than that everything is a little bit different or a little bit better quality so we do have a step up from the elegoo mars in design quality here Okay guys, so that's my comparison of both the Elegoo Mars and the Epax X1. Are they the same printer? They print similar. They both use the same motherboard. They use similar firmware. They both use She2 Box. So She2 Box Slicer works perfectly with both of these. However, that's about where the similarity ends. The standard light array that comes with the EPAX is a 50 watt power supply. Uh, it, it has a much bigger array than does the Elegoo Mars. Um, it's not that the Elegoo Mars version P is not going to be an upgrade from what this version is. However, out of the box of what's available right now, the Elegoo Mars and the EPAX X1, this is a much better printer. Um, the heat sink on this is much better than the heat sink on the Elegoo Mars. The speed of the EPAX-1 does surpass the speed of the Elegoo Mars. Again, you get the similar print qualities out of both if you tweak your print settings, whatever filament or whatever resin you're using. So you will get very close results. However, if you're gonna run a print farm or you're gonna be printing every day, I would say you might wanna step up to the X-1 because the X1 is going, to be handle, is going to be able to handle everyday printing for you know, 8, 10, 12 hours. Where I think the Elegoo Mars is, is more of a home version or for somebody like, you know, I don't print every single day anymore um, now that it's, uh, it's Christmas Eve today. And chances are I'll be doing a lot less printing 
um, or if you're a home hobbyist thing and you want to print things uh, just now and then, this is a much more affordable printer at 200 I believe it's $260 right now on Amazon. You can get a link below in the description. And the Epex is, is $399 out of the box, $400. And if you get the upgraded array, it's going to be um, from Epex itself a little over $500. And then if you do it yourself, you can save $30 to just get it for $98 from their website, which I have done, and I will be doing the upgrade very shortly. So in comparison, no, they are very completely different printers. Again, we have a solid metal housing. This is plastic. We have a metal frame. They both come apart completely different. Um, the array here is smaller, uh, less powerful than the standard array and the Epix X1 for $400. So for $150, you are getting a machine that is going to significantly do much more printing, stay cooler, and last longer than you will with the Alugumars or even the Any Anycubic Photon, which is of similar quality to this. Um, now the Photon S is a small, slightly upgraded version. It does have a better array than the Alugumars. Um, it is not as good as the X1, but uh, can it handle more printing than the Elegant Mars? I still say the Elegant Mars is a much better printer than either of the Anacubic Photons, um, either the standard or the S. I'm looking forward to seeing the next version of the Elegant Mars, but as it stands right now, what's available on Amazon, um, either of these printers, you can, you can get links below. Um, if you're going to do a lot of printing, then go with the Apex. If you're going to do average printing, then go with the Elegant. It, they're both great printers. I like them both. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks guys for taking the time to watch some of my videos. I really appreciate it. If you like these videos and you find them helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see new stuff that I put out, usually on a weekly basis, hit the subscribe button and you can get notified by clicking on that little bell. I really appreciate any uh, sharing that you can do and the thumbs up that I get if you like these videos kind of helps with uh, my channel to grow. You'll see that in the descriptions and on my website I do put affiliate links to products that I show and use in these videos. Those affiliate links uh, give me a little small commission, doesn't cost you anything if you buy them. And when you buy within the first 24 hours of clicking on those links, I get a tiny little commission that helps keep this channel going. Any little bit helps to keep this up and running. Again, thanks for taking the time to watch it. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up and share on social media. Take care, guys. Happy watchmaking and jewelry making.